To Pope Francis, No Deal. April 27, 2020 by Anna Von writes. For the past 10 years I have listened to no end of freebooters and wannabes making claims based on their ancestors. I don't entertain such claims because I don't deal with the kingdom of the dead. I am alive, therefore, I belong to the kingdom of the living. Simple enough, isn't it? Don't tell me that the blood of King Pubala Di Da runs in your veins and that that makes you noble and royal and all the rest of it. Nobody and nothing makes you noble but you and your own thoughts, words, and deeds, right here and right now. The current regime has tried to exalt the kingdom of the dead over the kingdom of the living. They have tried to impersonate living men as dead things, estate trusts, public transmitting utilities, public charitable trusts, and only the true God knows what else. It's all lies and bunco, pure, unadulterated crime. False registrations. Fraudulent conveyancing of grammar. Claims based on the blood of King La Di Da. So first there was the deal that was never disclosed to operate the federal subcontractors as commercial corporations. And then there was the New Deal, which was never disclosed, either, and which involved the literal enslavement of government employees, and anyone else that you merely claimed was a government employee or dependent, but never actually were. And now, you are trying to rewrite the Uniform Commercial Code and apply it retroactively to save the guilty banks. We are calling fraud and damnation on this self-serving rewrite of Article 9 published by Cornell Law Day before yesterday, and we are taking exception to its fraudulent aims and assumptions, such as pretending that the banks invested anything whatsoever of value in us or our assets, and we also call foul on pretending that any incorporation or trustees of such corporations have any representative role or agreements related to us. We don't even have a contract with them. Our contract, Francis, is with you and the Queen and you both have cause to know what it says. The bankruptcy of the United States, Inc., cannot be settled absent negotiation with the actual priority creditors, the American states and people, represented in international and global affairs by their unincorporated federation of states, doing business as the United States of America. Period. Mr. Trump has no ability granted nor delegated to him to settle any such matters, much less Mr. Fink, and neither does the Queen and neither do you, Francis. The members of the Galactic Council need their information updated and need the truth this time. No more shimmy shuffle dances and excuses about your keymasters. Here's the only key that matters, by operation of law, all delegated powers return to the granters when the grantee is incapacitated. It was the curious decision, which we did not approve, to operate the federal subcontractors as commercial corporations. It was their decision to bankrupt both the municipal and territorial commercial corporations and to immorally and illegally seek protection of bankruptcy for their criminal profits, all of which are based on fraud, racketeering, false registration processes, unconscionable contracts, adhesion contracts, and other white-collar crimes your bully boys have pulled here. You have been trying to avoid all the uncomfortable and inconvenient facts for the better part of 20 years, but here they are, again, written in gold and underlined. The curia is called to account. The military is called to account. The politicians are called to account. The bankers are called to account. The securities agents are called to account. The bonding companies are called to account. We have said it and we mean it before the true God, and so let it be. You all chose to operate as corporations. Your free choice. Nobody was awake at the time to stop you, so you had your way. So now you reap the results of that decision and all your decisions to let these corporations run roughshod over the living people of this country, and your decision to allow them to use false registrations and dog Latin against the innocent, and your decision to get in bed with the banks and fornicate, fornicate, fornicate. Shame on you all. All of this is the fault of the Curia and the Pontiffs and the Popes and the British Monarchs and the Lord Mayors of London and nobody else's. It is well past the time for twisting and turning and trying to post some more false claims to save yourselves, retroactively, no less. Your self-interested rewrite of Article 9 of the Uniform Commercial Code is not accepted, and even if were, it would not apply to us and the chain of title we established in 1998 and again in 2007 and again now. Take notice, notice to principles as notice to agents, notice to agents as notice to principles. We are grandfathered in and we brought the American states and people with us. Suck it up and pay up, Francis. 
all our land grants and patents and all titles and trusts collapsed and returned to us. Our gold, our special deposits, our legacy trusts returned to us. Our good names and other intellectual property returned to us. Our lawful money, our banking system, our facilities and our public properties returned to us. All free and clear of debt or encumbrance. That is the deal and it is the only deal on the table.